hi guys and welcome to today's video we're going to do a kitchen deep cleaning and organizing i also got some stuff from marshall's and target to do a little decorating just to spruce up the space a little and get it ready for spring but first i'm going to start by transplanting these beautiful flowers that i got from lowe's i'm going to put them in these bigger cute flower pots that i got from lowe's as well and these are gonna go on our kitchen window nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you all right guys so this is the current situation of my kitchen window right now as you can see my poinsettia are not doing well at all so i'm going to get rid of them right now and bring in my spring flower but first i have to clean the window glass from the outside and the inside too just wipe down everything and then we'll bring in the flowers i get too drunk and too scared and all right guys so here close up look on the flowers uh, i got yellow pink and we have orange over here um these they just start to open right now this pink one as you can see it's all going to open up and it's going to look beautiful in here uh, so i just before we continue don't mind the light over here i just want to show you this cabinet it always stands out in all of my videos that i film here in the kitchen because as you can see it's the only cabinet that is wood like that uh, we left it uh, like that on purpose because i really want to make video and show you guys how uh, we painted all of our cabinets ourselves and we just you know made a little makeover on them just by painting them and adding a few things inside like for this one i want to show you the inside here okay please don't judge we just have it like that since we bought the house i think the original owner had something here like this is added to it it wasn't here i don't think so i just want to have like shelves so i can put my uh, tools that i don't use every day now i'm going to work on my pantry i'm not sure if you can tell but i do have a shelf liner on all of the shelves in here but i'm going to swap them out with a different liner that i got because the one that i have right now they are the foam kind and they have uh, holes like perforated they are hard to clean and a lot of the crumbs end up on the shelves anyway so that's why i'm going to change them right now even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter maybe you taste different hold up hold up baby i can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Now moving right along to the next shelf i do one shelf at a time because i do have a lot of stuff and i don't want to get overwhelmed i shared last year my kitchen deep cleaning and organizing video where i worked on every cabinet in my kitchen and i organized everything a lot of stuff still working but some needed to be moved around to be grouped with the same category 
or where it make more sense to have the pantry definitely took me the longest and the entire time i was working here in the kitchen i kept going back to it until i was totally satisfied Hold up, baby i can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different day i just want to show you what i have here so far uh, i got a liner for this uh, cabinet this is my baking cabinet it's kind of hard to cut liner here because it's kind of uh, on uh, a corner so it was a little difficult but i did my best uh, so at least i have you know a piece of liner right now so i can put my stuff back up in here uh, it's easy to slide them this way and you know what if i have any mess i don't have to freak out i can just wipe it down and i don't have to worry about the wet uh, so i'm going to do my best right now to organize all the stuff back in this cabinet and this is the after so on the top shelf i have my flour and sugars brown sugar and white sugar and i have here my powdered sugar on the second shelf i have like bacon essential as well like um, i have cornstarch baking soda baking powder and yeast walnuts for my cookies cacao and cinnamon vanilla extract and i put in the bag my s'more stuff like the marshmallows and cookies and chocolate and the bottom one here in the back in this bin i have my kitchen aid att attachment and in this bin i have like cupcake liner and things like that and here some more bacon essentials a cranberry raisin white chocolate and some like sweet chocolate and i made labels for these i really like these jars look the top is like glass and it's an um, airtight container as well and the only thing that didn't fit uh, in that cabinet is my Ikishra Spice basket so I'm going to keep it in the back up here since I don't use it a lot it is okay to be hard to reach uh, but I made sure to refill all of my little spice jars first before I put it up To the next cabinet here where i store all my mixing bowls strainers and my cake holder is in here too i also found a few random things wooden spoon plastic bottles that need to be put where they belong so let's straighten this one up real quick i also needed to cut a liner for here too Traveling kind, it's 
There isn't a ton to do on these drawers. I only have this one without any organizer. So I got these clear bins to do the job here. And we're going to straighten the kitchen towels on the bottom drawer as well. Because these came out the wash yesterday and I kind of just put them in there. So let's fix that right now. going to switch out this fruit holder to the new one that I got so it can match with the rest of our decor in that nook area you will get to see that in a little bit but after I finish with that I'm going to wipe down all of the kitchen covers on the run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind pride that's where I never thought it would matter if I'm going And next to finish up in here, I'm just wiping down the counters because as you saw, I was stepping on them with my feet. So I had to take care of that first, wipe down the stove, and then I'm going to clean my stainless steel appliances. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. Got to know that I I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of a romance. You make me feel so alive, always there in my mind. But I just don't know, I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing. I'll be there if you reach out to me Reach out to me 
Alright guys, so I'm just finishing cleaning my sink right now and before we get working on that cabinet project I had to clear the table because I need to use it later on to paint the cabinet doors so I decided to put my few pieces of decor out so they are out of the way and next we're gonna get to work on our coffee station and dinner table I need to dust the fan that goes on top of it and just wipe down everything so everything is nice and clean before we get working on that big project you know that I'ma keep it cold with you I feel like breaking rules on the edge looking now with no parachute you know I'm dreaming about us too finally guys we are on to this cabinet this was a project I really don't want to share too much here because it is going to have a delicate video where I show you all the details step-by-step -step kitchen cabinet makeover it will be the next video on my channel but here's a quick teaser of the painting work but that is all I'm going to share with you guys for now and here is the after it looks absolutely fabulous it's going to be so functional too which is my favorite part we end up adding just one shelf for right now because I think it looks neater that way and also I can fit my tall kitchen gadget very easily Alright guys, so I'm going to give you the final walk around right here. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And I hope I gave you the motivation that you need to take care of your kitchen or anywhere really in your home. So thanks again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to be on the lookout for the kitchen cabinet makeover. Like I said, it's going to be the next video on my channel so thanks again i'll let you enjoy the rest of the video with the music and i'll see you in the next one bye